education is um, allowing people the tools to think for themselves, to to grow and develop from the inter information that they are exposed to. So if you're not integrating, if you're not building upon what you've learned before, I think at a very fundamental level you're not learning. And it's necessary to allow students as many opportunities as possible to take what they're getting in the classroom, what they're getting from the readings, um, think about how that has relevance to their own lives, not just professionally. This case deals with it professionally, but to answer those big, big questions of life that we do in education. Why are we doing what we're doing? What are we doing? And to build skills that will, and by skills I mean patterns of thought, ways of um, accumulating information, synthesizing information, thinking critically about what they're doing uh, that will last a lifetime. Integrating the speech comm and the, uh, the accountancy material serves that purpose, but it also manages to make speech communication very relevant for the accountancy students many of whom tended to wonder, okay, why are we learning how to give a speech? We're not going to be giving speeches, but they are going to be giving presentations. Um, many of whom aren't necessarily going to look at interpersonal communication because we could ask them to say, or conceivably they could be asked to take public speaking, leadership, small group, or interpersonal communication, any of the other courses that cover some of the material. but. If the students are saying, okay, why do I have to know this? Then, since it's outside of their discipline, they may very well not get from it what they need to get from it. And this is, okay, this is interpersonal communication, this is teamwork, this is why you use it, because you're using it to communicate on the job. And as, a, uh, as an accountant in most organizations, you're going to be working with people who aren't accountants. And you're going to be bringing different things to the table, but you're also going to have to find a way to work with engineers and people in marketing and the CEO who only sees the big picture and doesn't necessarily see the details of what you're doing. For years, we have been providing accounting students with um, SpeechCom 223, which is the public speaking course. It is open to all students and all faculties. We run it for our own majors as well, and it has um, served to fulfill a purpose that employers have wanted from the accountancy students, and that is their communication skills. And um, from accounting, we learned that while the public speaking element would still be important, that what they also wanted, what employers wanted, what the faculty wanted from their students was um, more understanding of situations other than public speaking as well. So leadership, working in groups, collaboration, that sort of thing. And to integrate the material more fully with what they had already been learning. One of the key elements of this course, and the, the element of this course that really does set it apart, is the fact that it is building towards students being able to uh, analyze an accountancy case study. And it's something that is a very introductory version of something that students are doing in senior years, where they are given a, a case based upon a real industry and a real problem and asked to solve it. Ours is a more fictional case because we integrated interpersonal elements into that case. We integrated communication elements into that case. In the first two sections of the course, they are given elements of the case that deal with communication issues, that deal with issues of working in groups and having problems working in groups and challenges working in groups. And this is integrated into the theoretical readings that students are doing, the first set of presentations that students do, which are individual presentations. And all of this material builds to the third part of the case, which is very accountancy based. This is where Chris the co-op student and his or her peers, and Chris of course is gender neutral, um, encounter 
the real practical problem that needs to be solved and have to come together as a team to solve that accountancy problem and give a presentation where they justify their solution. Um, this is based very, very roughly on a real industry. The case study will be changed every year, obviously, so that students don't have access to talking to students of previous years. And all of the accountancy-related questions, all of the business-related questions, are fielded by um, TAs who are drawn from accountancy. And they are, all of them, master students and very, very good at what they're doing. And so in the fictional uh, world that the case study creates, in which the student is a co-op student working at this company, the speech comm people are the CEOs of the company. And we go with the assumption the CEO wants to see things solved, wants to see people take leadership positions, doesn't necessarily know what the accountants are doing or how they're arriving at what they're, they're doing. The TA is the CFO. So we had roles to play in the presentations as well. And so students had, and they had a very short period of time, and this is part of the expectations of the case. You're hitting the ground running, you've got a week to deal with this problem, to come up with a solution, to create a presentation that's professional where you present this solution to people who will then accept or reject your solution. And they were given access to the TAs to ask questions. But part of, part of the challenge of the assignment, of course, is they have to integrate what they've already learned in their accountancy courses from the previous term and what they've learned in their interpersonal leadership uh, material that they've taken so far. And uh, that's, that's really the integrated aspect of the case. A lot of this course worked and worked very well in the first iteration. I think one of the first things that worked was recognizing that the first iteration was not going to be perfect. And we knew that. We knew that we wanted to get something very good, that we could come together and, and work on it and get something very good, but that there would be changes the second time around. And what really worked was the collaboration of the people involved. The people from AFM were amazing. They came in with... Um, a massive amount of energy, a uh, lot of support, uh, reasons why we were doing this. The case was developed by them. They had these great TAs. They really did provide a lot. And we worked quite closely together throughout this. Uh, what also worked was, even in this collaboration, there was a great deal of freedom for people to bring in their own expertise. So it wasn't dictated, you will do this. It was, this is a speech communication course. We're going to bring in our expertise as well, and that that is, is going to be reflected in the content. Um, what worked as well was the fact that we were very ambitious about what we wanted to accomplish. We brought in a lot of readings for students to deal with. We gave them the case that was very detailed. We, um, we, we really thought through what we wanted out of the course. What, for the next time we found, and the challenges of course, the major challenge of this course was synthesizing as much as we needed to do in 12 weeks. And even from the beginning we said to ourselves, better to do more than necessary and cut back than not give students enough. So we had a very heavy course and students are still going to have the case, they're still going to have the tight deadline, they're still going to have quite a few readings, but we're going to uh, reorder the course because we found, we started with an interpersonal communication section, for example, where they did a lot of reading, we had a lot of discussion. For several weeks, students seemed to be at loose ends about what that meant to them. Why are we taking this? Why are we talking about ourselves, our relationships, um, our perceptions of others, and it slowly coalesced, oh, oh, this is why, this is why. Um, we are switching the order now so that they begin with an activity, they begin with a public speaking um, event where they are doing an informative speech, they learn those skills, they are able to develop that, and then we consider the interpersonal, so that once they have started thinking about 
okay, I have to present myself to an audience. Maybe if I understand the interpersonal material, I will start to understand audiences better. So we found that the order wanted to be tweaked. We, uh, we, we do have a lot still to get through, but that should hopefully make it more relevant for students right from the beginning.